second cause of divorce besides infidelity. One third of couple who argue, argue because of finances. My name is Blessing Kiobel with the No Limit Show with Flourish. I'm here with the expert. His name is Baba G. Day Edges. Let's welcome him and say. Hi guys, thanks for having me. My name is Baba G. Day Edges. I'm a counselor and a relationship expert. Oh, it's good to have you on set, Baba G. Day. It's my player, same hair. You have no idea. It's always good to have you anyways, because you, you always have something to say to thank us. You. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I have a few questions for you. Okay. Does finances play a role in marriage? Absolutely. Major, major, major role. Okay, so how so? Um, basically, finance is what makes, but finance is, is the economic vehicle. Mm -hmm. You know, some people say love is the vehicle, but what is romance without finance? Mm -hmm. So money is as important as love. Okay. If we are keeping it real. Money is as important as love mm -hmm. in marriage. But you know, back in those days, especially with African parents, they tell you, oh, suffer with a guy. When you suffer with him, it would not leave you, remember you, something like that. Yeah. Why do they say that to us? Because that's the power of investment. When you suffer with a guy, you are investing in his, um, in his um, vault of good memories of you. Mm. Because a man believes that you know him when he was nothing. Okay. And now that he's something, you work for it. Okay. We tend to respect that more. Mm -hmm. you, you know, some people say uh, African men, they love to suffer head women. But that's mm -hmm. not entirely true. A man just wants the woman that got him, got him properly. Okay. Not the one that the soup is now ready. Right. He, yeah, you're now like, okay, this is my plate, serve me soup. A man wants a, 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 a story with his woman. Right. Yeah. But most times, does that really work? Because I'm going to tell you the truth. My mom, um, my mom, when my mom was married to my dad, she actually suffered with him. My dad became who he was because of my mom. Okay. But when he started making the money, instead of spending the money on women, she was not seeing the money. And yep. I'm sure... She was not the only one, or she, my mom is not the only one that has been through that. Yeah, absolutely. So many women absolutely. suffer with the men, and at, at the end of the day, they end up not enjoying it. Other people end up enjoying that, it. That's the much, real, much more reason why today's women, mm -hmm. the woke generation, right. they don't want to suffer with men anymore. Because they believe that uh, uh, a man that is humble is different from a man that life humble. They believe every man pretends to be good in their trying phase. Right. When they are trying to make ends meet. Right. But when they get the money, they will now go for their taste. Right. And this is why we always advise men, don't date for where you are. Date for your destination. Mm. This is a mistake so many men. It's not even a mistake. It's an intentional thing men do. Right. They because like, their type would not be with them. Yes. They look at it like my type. Mm. would not accept me for this phase of my life, for this season of my life. So they try to Let look me go for, for, a, the available. for a placeholder. Mm. You know what it means a to be a placeholder? Older. Yeah, they, they, they look for a placeholder, a form of a, a place occupier. Let mm. me munch on you till like, I, 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 I get, get to a place you, yeah. where I can afford to be with my type. Mm. And, and I, that mm. is actually a very dishonest thing to do to a woman. Wow. And most of them, they would still keep their wife, the person that suffered with them, and still go around gallivanting with other women. That's another, another, tell another you, madness. She, yeah. she, she stay with me. But isn't that affecting the woman emotionally? Isn't that damaging? Absolutely. Absolutely. A, a, a woman is, a, is, is also a woman being. Right. So I have the saying that goes, if you want to know the true color of a man, wait until he has money. Yeah, that is like... Uh, it's partially true, but it's not always true for everybody. Okay. Yeah. It's Tell it's me more about that. Yeah, because if you're going out today and you want to go into our dating pool. Okay. And, and I'm talking in the context of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to be candid, it's not always true. Maybe okay. like 60% truth, but it's not always true. Why? Yeah, Why? because Why when, when you look at our dating pool today, mm -hmm. 
to actually see a young man that is doing well financially, legally, is actually hard in this part of the world. Nigeria, in this context, mm -hmm. is actually hard. So if you're looking for him to have all the money, the nice apartment, the nice car, the befitting career for you to rate him, you will be very dishonest in assessing situation. Hmm. Because to actually know a man at times is when he's struggling. Now, this is what you will do. You have to understand that a man can pretend to be in the script with you, his target. But he cannot always be in the script with everybody else. Mm. So if you want to know a man for who a man really is, watch how he treats people out there. So a man can be very honest with you in dealing with you. Try to see if his, if his kindness is a selective kindness. Is he actually generally kind to everybody? Okay. His friends, his family, the, the waiter at, uh, at a restaurant, mm -hmm. the, 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 the attendant at a, at a filling station. Mm -hmm. Look how he treats everybody. That's mm -hmm. when you ascertain, like, oh, this, is man, this man is actually a good man. Okay. A man can be very humble in a relationship with you because it's still struggling. Mm. So if you are going by, ah, I want to meet the man that has money for me to know him, you might not actually meet the good man that has money. So what if you meet the man now that is still struggling to make ends meet, but doesn't have money? How do you ascertain him? Look, pay attention how he treats others, especially the less privileged. People, mm. people that do not have so much to offer him. Okay. The waiter, the fuel attendant, mm -hmm. the common man. See how he talks to his family member, other women. See how he judges people. It, it will help you to actually see him for who he really is when he's not in that love territory with you as a woman. Yeah. But but when he's broke, he's faithful, though. To you alone. Exactly. But when he now gets money, he's no longer faithful. Because I'm sure my dad was what, faithful to my mom. What I'm trying to money. what I'm trying to say now is there's no selective good man. Hmm. Do you know what it takes to cheat? You need a level of crookedness within you for you to cheat. Hmm. For you to hurt somebody that you love. Even though cheating is not a big deal to man, you don't find it emotional. Okay. Yeah. Men can ju men just feel like I just want to cheat. Right. Just probably to achieve orgasm. And that's that. Unlike women. But you know it takes a level of crookedness for a man to say, this woman that I've done so much for me, I want to cheat on him now. And this is what women do. We replace that mentality with, I can always treat her right. Mm -hmm. I am treating her right now. So I'm making up for this little, little cheating I'm doing out there. So what I'm saying in essence is, if a man is a wicked man, is a bad guy out there, and he's selectively treating you right, saying the right thing to you, you should know that he is pretending. Mm. So if he's pretending, it means that in the future, when his bag is right, he will mm. likely cheat on you. I don't know if I'm making sense. Yeah. 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 So, so what are you saying? Are you saying that people shouldn't go for people they want to bear it because of finances, because should, of their money or what? People should, people should go with people that they found worthy. It's mm -hmm. just that rich guys don't pretend that much. Exactly. Because That's they don't, my they point. don't have so much to, to, to prove to you. Rich exactly. guys prevent too, but they don't pretend that much. Exactly. And they date for their level at that point in time. Mm. If they're still single. If they're still single. <laughs> but trust me, Many of them are not dating just you alone. Mm. Many of them. So now so you're between been, dating yes. somebody with money and dating other people or dating somebody without money that is only committed to you. Money is a tool. Money is like a spirit. You are who you are. Money is just the amplifier of who you are. A good person is a good person with or without money. That is very true. So what you should find out is how do I identify this person? Okay. How do I establish him for a bad person mm -hmm. or a good person? So would it be wrong if I say that 
I'm looking for someone that is financially stable. It's not wrong. Would it be wrong if a woman no, says not. that? it's not. Or a man says you that? You have every right. See, one okay. thing you should know about men is men are not, we are very selfish. When it comes to our choice of women, mm -hmm. we, do, we, are not, we are not that flexible like women. Right. That's why you see a man dating for a particular phase now, when he has his money rights, mm -hmm. he will go for higher women. A woman can choose you while you're still poor and still stay with you while you're still struggling. Right. And when you get your money right, she will still give you that. Right. Not all women do. Right. But women don't betray like that. They are not for the season. Right. But men can do Women you. are very loyal. Yeah, because very men loyal. are quite logical. They, they, they are not, we are not slaves to our emotion. Mm. So you have every right to do that. Like, okay, I want to date a rich guy. That so has would you money. say that relationship nowadays is transactional absolutely always been mm. relationship has always been transactional our father married our mother for a reason to build family for procreation okay yeah but women women really don't marry men for that do they women are not transactional when it comes to relationships women those days they married men for safety they marry men for financial safety spiritual safety physical safety the society give you more, more very much respect when I don't you know about the man. financial part because it seems like our uh, the days of our ma parents they never married for financial safety but they the man was still the man was, was still, still taking providing. care yeah was still providing mm. just the difference was our mother was patient of the process but back then we didn't have more women or we we, we hardly have women as breadwinners then, then we had them but not as much as oh. today yeah mm. our mother was very supportive i will talk about mine okay. she was supportive most times my dad would go you know my, my dad uh, he was a custom officer okay. so he would travel for months and my mm. mom would be holding it down for him financially financially with her money with her money hmm. but when he comes around you will reimburse the one he, uh, yeah but, because she, she, but, but, but you know what I'm talking about when yeah. I mean breadwinner, breadwinner, women yes, yes. pretty much takes care of the entire yes. bills without waiting for Absolutely. the Absolutely, I know women like that. Hmm. They are not that much like today because women are financially doing well today. A lot of women. Right. A lot of women. So many of them are taking care of, the, the, of, of finance. And they are okay with it. And they are okay with it. And they are even giving the credits to the man. Ah, no, me, I'll take my credit. No, you can't take your credit. <laughs> you will hurt the man's ego. <laughs> no, basically, what, what I mean, I don't know if personally, I don't mind if I make more, right? But as long as you're contributing something, you know, bringing something into the family, not just be and a, that's the a house husband. And, that's the, wisdom, house and husband. that's the wisdom of you being a woman who is making more money than your husband. Yeah. Some women, they will give their children money and they will say, it's daddy that gave it to you. It's daddy that gave it to you. Just to I boot, think my mom did that nonsense. Just to put the impression of the fatherly love in the kids. Imagine you are telling yeah. your kids every time. They are, they are noticing everything. They are paying attention. My mom did that. She never... I mean, we were, for a long time, we were mad at our dad before he passed. May okay. so rest in peace. We were mad at our dad because it felt like this woman suffered with you and then you left her. Now you're spending your money, the money you're supposed to invest, use and invest in your children. You're spending it on other women. You know, why can't you invest in your family? I mean, before my mom can take money from him, they would need to fight, literally. Fight before she could get, or even steal his money. So for me, because I saw that growing up and my mom still tried to convince us that, oh, he was a good man, is this, that, he was under spiritual attack. Why did they have to labor into on the spiritual attack when, when he, he didn't have money, he was faithful, and all of a sudden, he has money, now he's no longer faithful to this woman, he's not even taking care of his responsibility, yeah. people outside are enjoying him, and then you come to us and tell us, your children, that we should settle for that. That's the difference between um, uh, yesterday women and today's women. Today we, today's women are gradually standing for themselves right yeah because like, i have a daughter i don't think i would advise my daughter i wouldn't tell my daughter oh don't don't 
marry a very rich man, right? But I will tell my daughter at least let him bring something to the table. Both of you should be bringing something to the table because I feel like, and I'm, I'm sure uh, um, statistics shows too that when both parties bring something to the table, especially money to the table, it helps. It relieves some stress and anxiety. Yeah. However, when one person is doing it, it's not. It's it, it brings stress. It brings fight, argument, because it gets to a point where it gets tiring. And you know, from my observation, I feel like women are not built to be breadwinners. Absolutely. Women are not built or created to take care of a family. So after some time, when a woman is doing it, yes, yeah, she will do it for some time, expecting you to start bringing something into the table. Then when they stop bringing it, when you stop or when you're not doing it, making any effort at all, that's when they change. They become disrespectful. They talk down on you. Would you agree with that statement? Absolutely. Absolutely. You're very correct. And I will say this. Most men, most women that get resent, uh, that, that, that get to that level of resentment when the money is not forthcoming from the man. I believe those women, it's either they are investing into a wrong man or at some point they got impatient with the man's process. Mm -hmm. Because to be honest, if you are investing and taking responsibility on a man's behalf, mm -hmm. that means you believe in his dream. Right. True. True. But one thing some women do, they invest in a man without a dream to nurture. You are a woman, mm -hmm. you can carry, you are not just meant to, you have a womb to carry things. To carry baby help and to carry a man's dream. Mm. A woman can see a man's potential without him even saying enough. Mm. And it will keep reminding him that you plan to do this so 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 time. I know you can do this. I've I, I've been with you for a while. I know your capacity. Mm. You can do this, we can push this. Okay. A help meet is a help meet all around them. Right. So the most important thing is to identify the potential. In the person. In the person and the pattern they are taking. Mm. Not just the potential, because some yeah. people, they have potential. Potential is not enough. Yes. Look at the pattern. What is he doing himself? Mm. So when you come on board to sponsor his dream, and when I mean sponsor, not money, mm -hmm. I mean you pushing him, right. introducing him to people, introducing him to idea, not just money here. Right. He right. will be able to push alongside mm. you. The problem with men, women that if a woman gets tired, the problem is she's too impatient for the dream to manifest because mm. she mistook a potential from oh. the start. Mm. Yeah, because, because you can see something bright about a man yeah. now and take it as a potential. Right. Everything bright about a man is not always a potential. Mm. Hmm. Well said, well said. Because I know that some men, you meet a man right like yeah. for example i meet somebody i want to know where you're going okay for me it's not about where you are right now where are you going and are you working towards where you're going okay and many times they'll tell you oh i want to be let's say for example i want to be a, a, a photographer okay what are you doing are you taking classes or are you just sitting down at home and a lot of times they're just sitting down at home waiting for the big Exactly. Big money to, to set up the big studio. Exactly. Or they will tell you, oh, I'm expecting one money somewhere, yet yeah. you're at home. That's where pattern comes in. Look at this pattern. The little, little, the little drop of water. My thing is, if you're sitting down at home waiting for this money to come in, yeah. why don't you invest in something? Or why don't you invest in yourself by either taking some kind of training or you know skill work or just doing something it that, could be that, computer that. it could be anything that you could just lay your hands on just to keep you going yeah. until that big money yeah. come yeah. is that what you consider by the pattern yes okay whatever he's saying okay uh babe i think i'll take a class um next month oh babe i'm watching one youtube video it's you know uh babe i want to do this you are paying attention you're watching him if those things is mentioning is following them up. Mm -hmm. If it's the kind of guy that is mentioning one thing today mm -hmm. and tomorrow is not following enough, mm -hmm. that is your pointer to know that these men will not follow through eventually. Right, right. And would it be safe to say that 
as much as he claims that he has a dream, he wants to pursue this and he wants to pursue that, and the woman is there to stand by him, would you also say that it's okay for him to equally push himself and not just seek for someone to babysit him? Yeah. You know what I mean? For example, I don't know if I'll be okay with just babysitting somebody. I can tell you, baby, I see something in you. I believe you can do it. Why don't you do this? Why don't you do it? Then it's now up to you to tell yourself, okay, you know what? I want to do this and see it come through. Yeah. And you're walking towards it. Versus just saying, yes, I'll do it. Yes, I'll do it. But you're just saying with your mouth and sitting down, not doing anything. Would you say such women should settle for that? Especially if you're a woman with a big vision, big dream. That, that's, that's the essence of relationship and courtship. One thing I've noticed um, recently in the dating uh, space is um, people don't even know, women don't even know how to support appropriately, number one. And number mm -hmm. two, men believe that women don't want to suffer with men anymore. But the problem is, men are not looking at the right women. Mm. They are looking at some, uh, a particular section of women mm -hmm. and they want them to behave like a certain way. Uh, you know, you, you, I don't want to use the term like a, a slay mama now, a woman that wants it ready-made. And you mm -hmm. want a ready-made oriented woman mm -hmm. to suffer with you. There are women meant for that, but you want to eat your cake and have it. Mm. You want the one that looks super good extremely good to the high you want that one to suffer with you why not just take a woman that is modest mm. doing well for herself averagely mm -hmm. and build with that one anybody can slay later hmm. so the problem is women 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 are not to be candid women want to support at least majority of of the ones i've spoken with they want to support. Mm -hmm. The fear is they don't want to waste their investments. That's a pointer right there. I totally agree with what you said, uh, uh, Baba Jide. A lot of women are looking for where to, who to invest in. Absolutely. But they're looking for the right person. If a woman loves you, she will invest in you. Absolutely. You hear that? If a woman loves you, she will invest in you. Also, if a man loves you, he will also invest in you. Absolutely. It's a two-way street, baby, okay? And also, just to let you know, I mean, before, while you're in a relationship with somebody, ensure that you communicate about those things, you talk about your finances, you talk about this. This is a topic that people Not shy away. Not inside marriage. Not inside marriage. Talk about it before you get into the marriage. Yeah. Because believe it or not, you'll be so surprised the cases, the cases of people that are divorced due to finances. And this is something you should talk about. You know yourself, you know what you want for yourself. You know if you want somebody with money or without money. And also, you know, be reasonable with your expectations as well. Absolutely. And um, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you so much, Baba Jide, for um, giving us this beautiful words of wisdom. You're welcome. Um, ensure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also turn on your notification so that you would always receive uh, noti uh, notification about when uh, new videos, when we'll put on new videos. Also comment, like, and share this. Until I meet you again, thank you for joining me today. Have a